In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to do printing using the program and the uh, print window and how it works. So to do that, I'll go to uh, this document up here that I've prepared earlier, and we've got three pages here as you can see. Now I'll just uh, bring out the page thumbnail viewer to clearly show you this. So here we've got page three, page two, and page one. And on page one here, at 20 inches by 20 inches, we've got this sort of artwork with these guides and the dimension here. On page two here, which is 18 by 19, we have uh, some regular objects, and in the middle here we have an image. And on page three here, we just have a regular type um, sidewalk type sign here. So these are our uh, jobs that we've got. Now we might want to print these out onto our regular desktop printer in a regular paper size. So to do that's quite easy. We just come up to this uh, button up here, the print button. We click on that, and our default uh, print dialog comes up. Now if I come down here and check on show thumbnails, I can also see my thumbnails here as I was seeing in the in the program before. I'll just explain to you how the preview works just quickly. You can see our page size that we've got it set to here and I can obviously change that to any page size I like. It's defaulted to letter here. I could make it A4 and it will change it to A4. I can always change that back if I want to, back to letter again as so. So I can do those sorts of things. Now a part of this preview here, we see these margins, these are the printer margins, we see our dimensions that we were just talking about, we see our, our cursor position down here, and we also see the page border, this blue dotted line, that represents our page. So if I come out here, this border here, as you can see, represents this border here. So we go to page 2 here, um, that represents the border on page 2 and so forth. So I'll just bring that back up here to the middle. Okay, so that's what that is. Now we can turn that off, we don't have to show that, that's entirely up to us. So we're going to have that on or off. Uh, we've also got these view modes here. I can view this in um, like CMYK. So this is roughly what it's going to print out like. This is just a like a, in a sense, it's like a soft proof. It's like a thumbnail or a preview, just to give you an idea of how this is going to print out using a regular desktop printer. Obviously, it's not using any profiles or anything. It's just a rough estimation. We'll just leave that in RGB for the time being. Okay. So the window more broadly, along the top edge here, we've got different view. Uh, tools as you can see here. I can set this thing at say 10 to 1 or 1 to 1 as you can see or I can fit it to the page. Um, I can position it to the top left hand corner or so. I'll just turn this, the page bounds just to show you what I'm doing here. This positions it to the top left corner based on the printer margins. This just forces it to the top left corner and ignores the printer's margins and this button here centers the whole thing as you can see. Okay, I can change the size. If I make this 10 to 1 I can make it bigger. Okay, if I make it one to one, I could make it smaller. So this is just basically um, enlarge and decrease size, as you can see there. I can rotate this thing. I can even mirror it, as you can see. So I've got these tools up here to sort of manipulate the um, the artwork I've got on my page. I can also just move it with my mouse, as you can see. Okay, and I can then just position that back in the center like this. So I can position my artwork where I want it to print on my page, my uh, letter size page here and I've got all these manipulation tools as I've just gone through. Now if I want to get a bit more tricky I can go to the advanced button here and I can start changes, changing these settings numerically like I could make this say 1.3 inches or I could make it say 0.6 of an inch. You know I can really go to uh, the nth degree about where I want to position this thing. I can change its scale for example. So I've got these sorts of controls and I can reset this back to default size and that's what these tools here do. Now I've also got these custom layout options here where I can auto shrink to the page as it does by default. I can um, actual size top left. I can go say actual size centered. I can shrink to all. You know I've got these sorts of controls and I can reset this which the auto is shrink to page like this. So I've got these tools here. Now under my printing options I can obviously change my printer that I'm printing to. At the moment it's just printing to a standard laser printer, so if I wanted to see that in, say, grayscale, I can do that. So I can see what my laser printer is going to print it like. Go back to full color here. I can print this as an image. Now the reason why we have printer's image is if you want to get the best possible printed result, you print the object or you print the artwork as an image. So uh, the program will convert your uh, artwork to a high quality uh, bitmap and it will then print it to your printer that way. It's a bit slower but you will actually get very high quality if you use that. If you want to print the file to an actual file or print your artwork to a file you can print it to a PRN by checking this and when you click print you can give it a name and save it off to your desktop or wherever you want to and save it off as a file and you can print that later. So that's a way of doing that. 
you can set multiple copies and you can collate those copies if you want to. So you can do those sorts of things. Now the print range is pretty obvious. If you want to print, um, say, all your pages, you can set it to all pages and it will print each one of these pages. You can just print the current page if you want to. Um, you can print the page content. So that's whatever we actually have on our page. Um, and you can actually print selected pages. So for this, if I go to selected pages, I need to uh, click the select button. And I might want to print just pages two and three, so I can select those with my mouse. And I'll only print pages two and three, as you can see here. So I have control about what range of pages I want to print. I can also include my master pages or my master pages. Uh, these, this has its own lesson about uh, master pages, and you can learn about those later. But if, you, if you've got master pages, you can print those out as well. Now this is an important section here, this print options section. As you can see at the moment, uh, I'm, I'm printing my dimensions. I can turn those off. I don't have to print those, or I can print them. If I want to print some scale rulers, I can print scale rulers. And if I've got some guides, like in this case, those scale rulers and the guides work very well together. I can also print a default grid, and I can print my dimensions there if I want to. So I have all these sorts of controls. Okay, I can set what I want to print here. If I go to this page here, I have an image here. If I don't want to print that, I don't have to. I can uncheck images and not print those. I can, if I've got a background on my page, or if I want to print the border or not want to print the border, I can do these sorts of things. I can print everything in black if I want to. Obviously I can't print an image in black, but you can see the point here as so. So I have these sorts of options. I can print in wireframe. Okay, so this is how these things work. Uh, if I just turn rulers off for a second and guides off, I can also print things like crop marks, which will go in, this, in the middle up here. So to, to better see those, I'd zoom, it, zoom it out a little bit or I'd slightly make it a little more this size so I can actually see my crop marks depending on what scales I want to print this out. But I've got these options. I can print the, uh, the border of the page. Uh, I can print crop marks and the border. So I've got these sort of options down here. Now I've also got things like cut color, edge color and base color. Now I'll to show you those things actually what I might do is I'll just cancel out of this. I've got this uh, page here, this future bird here. And this is a classic example of this where I've got registration marks that I've created and a contour cutting line as you can see around here. And if I wanted to print this whole thing out, I can just click, come up and click print again. I can also go to the file menu and come down and uh, either use the shortcut or press print here and it comes up as so. Now you'll notice I don't see my registration marks on my contour cutting line. Let's turn the bounds off for a moment. So you can't see those at the moment even though I've got them in the actual artwork. That's because the printing window gives us the option of either having them on or off. I don't have to print these things. If I go to cut colour, you can see I've got it there like that. If I go to registration colour or registration marks, you can see I've got them there like that. So I can actually print them if I want to. Okay. If I go to the advanced button here, I can actually change the colours of these things. Like for example, I might want to make the uh, contour cutting colour uh, red, as you can see here. And I want, might want to make the registration uh, mark say a blue colour, as I've done here. So this is how these sections work here, with these, button, these controls here. If I'm printing an underbase here, I might want to print this white underneath first because I'm printing onto a printer that has a base colour, an underbase colour, and I click here, it'll print the base colour that I've set here in the program under the underbase. So I can also do that as well. So the print options give me a lot of control about how I print onto my page with my artwork. I've got all these options here, and I can use those as I need to. I can position my artwork wherever I want using these tools up here and I can get much more advanced with it here and use these default layout options. So the printing window is a powerful window. It lets you do a lot of things. I mean if I want to print this in landscape I can just come here and print in landscape for example. So that's how I change those sorts of settings there. But the printing window overall is a large, uh, a, a, a powerful module. It lets you do a lot of things as I've shown you here. and. Um, Go to the uh, uh, manual if you want to learn more about it, but that's how the uh, print window works, and that's the end of this uh, lesson.